In this video, I'll show you step by step how to change a jigsaw blade. And there are actually two types of blades you need to be aware of. On the left is a newer T-shank style, and you can see it kind of looks like a T at the top. The one on the right is a U-shank, and it's the old style of blade with a U-shaped cutout at the top. This distinction will be important depending on the type of jigsaw you own. First, I'm going to change the T-shank blade on this Black & Decker cordless jigsaw. This is a newer style jigsaw featuring a quick release. Before starting, I'm going to detach the battery for safety. Here I can remove this blade by simply pulling up on the release lever and sliding it out. And then just reverse the steps to reinsert the new blade. Here's a closer look. This type of release mechanism requires no tools which is really nice. But make sure the blade is seated in the middle of the support roller with the teeth facing the front of the saw. And because this is a newer model, it will support T-shank and U-shank blades. Now, let's take a look at this older corded Black & Decker saw. I've had this for many years and it still works great, but this saw has a totally different type of mount and requires a screwdriver to remove the blade. Of course, make sure the tool is unplugged before starting. For this, I'll need a flathead screwdriver. To remove the blade, all I have to do is loosen the two screws in the mounting block. Now just reverse the steps to reinsert the blade. Then tighten the screws to secure it in place. And here I'm going to give you a closer shot. On this old saw, you have to use a screwdriver to change the blade. And on a vintage saw like this, it only accepts U-shank blades. But it's not good or bad. That's just how jigsaws were made from the era this came from. And once again, the teeth need to face the front of the saw and make sure the flat part rests between the groove of the roller support. One cool thing about older saws is that a lot of them have storage compartments for extra blades. My cordless saw doesn't have this feature, but it is toolless and can use both T-shank and U-shank blades. So now you know how to change jigsaw blades on the two styles of mounts commonly found on these tools. If this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all my DIY videos.